set all up to the side. Now you need a wrench for that. What size? Try nine. Nope, too small. Ten. Put an extension on it real quick. There you go. It's on tight. You gotta put it on loosen. There you go. Set it right in there, yep, there you go. thing we do, we pinch the gas line off here with the vice grips. No, nope, don't, don't, don't try doing it yet. Okay, we're gonna tighten them up a little bit. on like that and then you're gonna need to pinch this pull the line off just like so there we go only a little bit that's all right yep you take these off What you want to do is you want to carefully pull this all the way off like this. Carefully so you don't bend anything. And these gaskets are no good anyway, so we're not going to worry about them. There we go. And after you get that off, these will pop off. Like so. Careful, because we don't want to bend that spring. All right, we'll take this off like that and find a gasket in that kit that looks like that. This? Yep. You put it on there. That one, it doesn't really matter which way you put it on. Yep. There you go. Carefully so you don't rip it. There you go. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to weave these through just like, like so. Yeah, of course. The bar, the metal bar goes on the 
the inside one and the so, spring goes on the outside one. Oh, so the big one goes in the big one. Yes. You want to weave it in there? Yep, just like that. Good job. Good job. Yep. You gotta get these, yep, just like that. There you go. Yep, then you hook up the gas line before that way you have less chances of gas going all over. Yep, kind of pick that up like so. Bend it down. Yep, there you go. You can pull the carb out a little bit if you need. This upper? No, the carb. Pull it out a little more if you need. There you go. Alright. Now we put the rest of it together. Wait. You gotta get another one of the new ones. Yep, there you go. Is this no, that's gonna be a fuel line that we're not gonna use right now. We're is just gonna going, put that is, is No, it's gonna be too small for that. What, what is that's a fuel line is this line here that we pinched off. That's why we're probably not going to use it. So, that might also be help. Well, it's probably a breather tube for the tank, but the tank doesn't actually have one, so we're not going to use it. All right, get a gasket, one of the new gaskets. There you go. Slide it on here. Yep. You got it. It's stuck. No, it's because it's, it's supposed to do that. It, they do that. Sometimes they're not going to be completely perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and yeah, if you mess it up, we got a second one, so. <laughs> We're not going to mess this up. You're fine. And then we're done here. Get it all on there. You make sure that hole right there isn't blocked. And it's not. So we're good. We're good to go. That tiny little hole there? Yep. It's not blocked by the gasket. So we're good. I'll finish putting it. Yep. No, put put this part here on first, oh, and then we'll do the breather tube. There you go. Okay. No, you gotta get the. It helps you use the extension. There you go, and then put it in the end there. Yeah. There you go. You'll know if it's cross threaded. It'll get super tight immediately. And it looks like it's doing fine. Now, now start up the other one. Make sure you put it on tight.
don't need to get them super tight to snug them off. One more. There you go. No, it's all right. Just set them down and finish putting the the air filter cover back on. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, switch it. yeah. Now it actually works. Go ahead and fire it up. I move the handle out of the way. You have to pull that out. Yeah, there you go. 